He may need a lot of your time, but fortunately, this total electric kitchen helps you make time for him. During the 1950s and 60s, there seemed to be a whole lot of these type of films where they would imagine the future, predictions of better times, automation that assisted humans and gave them more free time. You're free to take care of him and all the other important jobs that fall to the modern housewife. So, it's a hard pill to swallow, but as the late great Mark Fisher said, the future has been cancelled. Here we see Labour MP Clive Lewis talking about malnutrition children. A little while ago, I went to a school in my constituency in West Erdham, and I was talking to the head teacher about a national article where children are now turning up to school, children whose families routinely use food banks, after 13 years of this government, who are turning up with bow legs. They're turning up to school with bowed legs. And I said to her, when you're teaching these children, how do you know they're hungry? She said, oh, that's really quite clear. They eat the sand in the playground, in the pit, in the sand pit. That's the kind of signs that we look for as teachers to know that these children are genuinely hungry. I wonder if those people back in the 1950s and 60s tasked with predicting the future could have foreseen in a western country with the sixth largest economy that some children would be eating sand. Speaking of children, here are some from the 60s who seem to have a better grasp about how the future would turn out. I don't think there is going to be atomic warfare but I think that there is going to be all this automation People are going to be out of work and a great population. I think something has to be done about it. I think it'll be, uh, um, people will be regarded more as statistics and as actual people. I don't think it's going to be so nice. I think sort of all machines everywhere. Click here for some psycho Tories. <laughs> 